My name is uh, Graham Brown and I'm a medical doctor and I work at the Royal Orthopaedic Hospital in Birmingham and I shall be your tutor for the day. We'll be looking at pain, new ideas of pain and how you can modify it. Most importantly, how you can get a much better quality of life and liberate yourself from the tyranny of persistent pain. Persistent pain affects estimated 25 to 40 percent of the world's population. It's epidemic proportions. And the narrow medical model is treated persistent pain as if it's some injury that needs fixing. It's patently failed for so many people. I'm going to help you to see pain from a biopsychosocial perspective, which opens up all sorts of possibilities for change. And underpinning this is the organizing ideas that I've learned from human givens. These ideas I learned some 20 years ago and are put into practice every aspect of my clinical life. I work full time in the NHS. I work mostly with people who suffer with persistent back pain. It could be buttock pain, it could be shoulder pain, neck pain, whole body pain, leg pain, facial pain. Pain is pain, it doesn't really matter where it's felt. You may be one of those sufferers, or you may be helping people who do suffer pain. I'll be helping you to see what you can do, how you can modify, because believe it or not, all pain comes from the brain and it can be modified. It's a brain's response and we're learning this from the neurosciences. So I'll share these new understandings from neuroscience in a way that everybody can understand. You don't have to be scientifically or medically trained to understand this. It makes common sense. So I look forward to meeting you on the day and some exciting things to discuss and some practical things to do as well. Like how simple relaxation and guided imagery can make an enormous difference to begin to turn down the pain sensitivity. To bring back some quality to people's lives who are plagued by persistent pain. I'm helping you to see how you can reduce medication as well, reliance on medication. And many people feel quite hijacked by medication that's prescribed to try and help them, but they're finding it's not helping. And we're actually making discoveries now that many of the medications that are prescribed for the best of intentions are actually making people suffer even more pain. And they feel better without the medications. So I look forward to meeting you on the day.